Thanks very much to all the speakers, to Roger and Ernie, Andreas and Heim for being here today. Combined, they manage more money, they've got more diverse experience, and they place more trades faster than ever before. My topic today will be about counter-trend trading, specifically how to take advantage of trend-following behavior to find a logic to reverse what trend followers are doing and hopefully steal some money from trend followers. I'm going to give you a tour of like how the inner world of HFT works, and then we're going to put together a model that's entire aim is to pick off HFT. There's quite a bit of recent work on finding ways for why these black box models are working. I will give you enough information today that everything I say can be verified and replicated. The most useful and most important base model that you should try is the trading model that you are currently trading live. Third thing in this particular strategy was the low latency pass-through of the E-mini ticks. Label each trade as good with a one, bad with a zero, and then what you do is you train a machine model to learn to predict those ones and zeros. And all of a sudden, these models start to, to become profitable. Both the doctors, uh, like when in their presentation, it was an eye-opening that there's still a lot of things out there which I have zero ideas about. And with their presentations, they showed around how much difference does it actually make if you're uh, in the right strategies and uh, with the right models and everything. I've gone to automation so I can be more disciplined. I think it was a real weakness for me in managing the emotions of trading. I'm not talking about the end of trend following, I'm simply talking about an aspect of trend following that we can probably exploit if we understand it well enough. Well, I really enjoyed the last presentation on uh, trend following. I learned a lot about the volatility aspects there as well, which is really interesting. And that's the frustration in trend following. Most of the time we get a breakout and it comes right back again. That's just part of the part of doing business in trend following. I wanted to come to the other side of the world to obviously take my trading to another level, listen to uh, good speakers, uh, people in the industry that knows uh, a lot more than Obviously, I do. This strategy made $200 million, and all of a sudden, people got really interested in high-frequency trading. What if I can build a system that can monitor all the market for me, or that can even trade for me in real time? I think I would do way better, and that is the key reason why I want to do algorithmic trading. I'm very interested to hear how very professional and successful people approach their trading and also at the end of the day getting a sample of their work given to me on a, on a plate. What I've seen so far this year has just been absolutely amazing. So the uh, machine learning side of it is, a, is an area that I'm really interested in. So I'd like to walk away with enough information to go back home and be able to put it into practice. If you feel out of your comfort zone, that's a great thing because it means that you're learning something new and it's going to push you to the next level. There's things today that I have not never even come across in my time. I like working with TradeView. I think they're a great bunch of people. I was going to learn a lot when I come here. Experience working with TradeView and Conference, I think, outstanding. 